Hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew Messenger Haunted Mansion. I would just like to say we welcome to all the nice people from the Vote for Holt, Holt Discord. It's very nice to meet all of you and I hope you enjoy my videos. So, um, where was I? Last time we came to this mansion, where which is being renovated by Rose Green to become a bed and breakfast. And the, the problem is there's a bunch of uh, accidents happening. And R Rose immediately hired us to do like handiwork, like we fixed this little wooden tile puzzle. Then we went to get some tiles off the ceiling and found like a locked attic door. We haven't found the key for that yet. We also met Charlie, a um, handyman who is, seems a bit too inexperienced for the job. And there's a fireplace in that room that Nancy wants to check when uh, Charlie's not there. But we haven't met Abby and Lewis yet. So I'm going to... What time is it? Okay, well, they're, they're almost done with work. I don't know where either of them are, so I guess I'm just going to look around until I find them. Oh, the phone is ringing. Should I answer that? Hello? That wasn't very helpful. I don't know who you are, mysterious demon man. But that was rather rude. You didn't even leave a message for anyone. Okay, well I guess we're not gonna find anybody in here. Yeah, is there any- is Lewis in here? His laptop's in here. Um, nope, nobody's in here. You know, I should probably just go back- yeah, it's six o'clock already. I need to go back to Nancy's room and just like, reset the day so I have time to talk to people. Let's see if I can actually find my way back to Nancy's room. That is the ultimate challenge. Because I am not good with directions, as I said before. Is it this way? Did I actually get right on the first try? Oh my goodness, I'm a magician! I feel so special. Um, let's just go for... I don't know, like 9am? Sure, why not? Okay, that should give me pl plenty of time to talk to everybody. Let's see. Would Abby be in the room that I think is Abby's? Which is this room, correct? Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. Um, I, I actually do believe in ghosts to, a, to an extent, but whatever. Do you believe in ghosts? And you do? I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls, and a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Okay, so she's definitely spreading the rumors that the place is haunted. I don't know if that puts her on the suspicious list or not, or if she's just like believing what somebody else is doing, but I will keep this in mind. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Do you know anything about this person? Do you have any more information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Our um... Are we going to have like a seance or something? You have fun with your meditation. I need to check the uh, the schedule again. Because I don't quite remember when Lewis gets here. He shows up later in the day, right? Yeah, noon to five. And Charlie is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh man, I should have, before I set the time back, I should have gone back down to the saloon and checked the fireplace. Oh well. We can do that today. Assuming nothing crazy happens. Okay, Rose, you got any more work for us today? Hello. Oh, you want to talk about Abby? I can talk about Abby. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Okay, so she helped you to buy it. That's good to know. What 
is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. Okay then, so it is a seance. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. You too. And I just remembered that last time Rose did want us to check out the dumbwaiter. So we can work with that. Um, how do I turn back around? I want to look at- yeah. I remember it was broken. The rope is cut. So do I need to find new rope or something? I don't know where I can find that. Maybe I can ask Charlie? Hi. Hey Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Okay, never mind. He's not going to help. Okay, so we've met three of the four people here. I don't know if there's more than four people, but we shall find out. No, Lewis won't get here until uh, quite a while, so I might just want to go back up to Nancy's room again. This is not the right door. I'm sorry, Rose. I keep intruding while you're trying to work. Where's the stairs? They are... No, I just saw them. They were right here, right? Yeah, okay. It's going to take me a few videos to figure out where everything is. She's still meditating. That's fine. That's a healthy thing to do. And I will just set this to... Let's go with about... No, 1 p.m. That'll give me enough time to find Lewis, hopefully. Now, where would he be? Not over here. It's locked. Yeah, we still don't have the key for that. The stairs still creak. I want to see if it's a thing that keep. Yep, it does keep happening. Good to know. Oh, I keep turning around. I do not mean to do that. Now, where can I find some rope, for one thing? I'm looking for Lewis, and I'm looking for rope. Or any kind of thing that can fix a dumbwaiter. And I can't leave. I am trapped here forever. That's fine. I don't mind. Lewis, are you here? Are you in your office? Is this your office? I don't know. Your stuff's in it. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Um, hi. Nice to meet you. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. Do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? Accidents? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. So, has nobody's been hurt by the accidents yet, correct? Well, that's good to hear. Oh, can I go ahead and stick this up here? It won't fit. It won't fit. Oh, okay, it fits right there. Thank you, Nancy. I like having a neat and tidy inventory. Okay, so...
We met Lewis, that's good. We've met- oh, somebody's walking by. Hi. Who was that? Are we friends? Are you a ghost? Are you Charlie going downstairs? Hey Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Do you have any spare rope, by the way? Like anything I can use to fix a dumb waiter? Oh, I didn't see this. No, I did see this before. I remember this. Because both of those drinks sound tasty. Uh, let's see. I should wait until he leaves. Yeah, he'll be gone in about four hours. So does Abby stay in her room all the time, except between three and six? Is that what that uh, the schedule means? They don't like wander around between the rooms, right? They stay in their own little designated areas. Because that'll make things a lot easier when I have to actually find them. I'm not quite sure what to do right now, so I'm going to go to my tried and true method of just calling everybody on the phone. And somebody will give me a hint. True residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Nancy. Abby is very strange. She really is convinced there's a ghost somewhere in the house. I don't know Abby very well, but I never felt comfortable with her. I can't put my finger on it, but she just seemed... Well, I don't know, like she wasn't who she really was. Like she was putting on an act. I can agree with that. I got some, like, weird vibes. It wasn't because of the psychic ghost thing. She just felt kind of... Fake, I guess? What do you mean? I could never get a straight answer out of her. She was always pretending to be someone she obviously wasn't. I don't think she did it to be rude. She was probably just practicing for some part. Okay, what do you think about Charlie? I'm Rose's handyman, Charlie. He seems nice. Rose told me he's a fine young fellow, but a little rough around the edges. I believe she said he's studying history at a community college. Has Rose said anything about him and the accidents? Nothing particular. I know she's concerned that Charlie may have inadvertently caused some of them, but she doesn't think it was intentional. Did you know Rose has a resident expert on Victorians? Oh, yes. Rose has mentioned Lewis several times. She's really fond of him and is very grateful for his help. Oh? Oh? Is there more between them than what I'm seeing? Oh no, they're not <laughs> dating or anything, but I can tell Rose likes him very much. I just found a hidden attic. I wonder if it has anything to do with all these accidents. Hmm, perhaps it does. Nancy, keep this a secret until you get to the bottom of these strange events. Don't even tell Rose. The less everyone knows, the more you can investigate without creating suspicion. Well, I don't know if it's really a secret anymore. I, I uncovered it and there's a ladder leading right to it. If anybody just looks at the ceiling, they'll see it. But I won't tell anyone. I should get back to work. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, what does Bess have to say to us? And George is there with her too, right? I think so. Hello? Hello, it's me. Hi, Nancy. How's the case coming along? Get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> Rose is really lucky. 
This antique dealer, Lewis Chandler, is helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Find a way to get into that secret attic you found. It must contain important clues. Search the whole house for a key, especially the basement. So basically I need to get Charlie out of the basement, so wait until after 5 o'clock and then search around and I might find a key. Thank you. That's very helpful. I should get going. Talk to you later. Goodbye. And I'll call Emily just because. I don't want to leave her out. Emily Foxworth speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Oh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Have you heard of an antique dealer named Lewis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure. She was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh, no. This one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Interesting. Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? No, but I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Do you know anything about Valdez? I don't think so. All right. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. I, li I like calling everybody because they always give me like a refresher of what's been going on, too. Like, I forgot that the, we saw, like, an article about Liz Lizzie Applegate. Well, we saw a couple articles about her, actually. I get the feeling she might be important. I don't know. But we need to get down to the basement, which means I have to go time travel. Let's see. Let's just set it for six o'clock. Oh, that's not the right way. There. I don't think we've come across anything about a person named Valdez yet. Oh. wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. D Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? That is awesome. The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Yeah, they, they, they really aren't being subtle about the hints that there's going to be a fire. Like there was the fire insurance, there's Rose saying it might be better burned off to the ground. There's the fire extinguisher. I totally forgot that we were having a seance tonight. And now it's- is it still nighttime? Is that AM or PM? 
Also, who was crying? Like, I was going- I- Oh, I saw that. This is really cool. I like this. I still think the haunting is fake, but that does mean that they're- they're- whoever's doing it is putting out a lot of stuff- they're pulling- I forget the phrase, but they're going to a lot of effort to make it seem like the place is haunted, and I appreciate that. Like having the glasses explode and like the- the lady in the mirror, that was really cool. It's stuck. Can I use the paint scraper? It's stuck. No, I can't. Well, where do I find a key then? Can I just It's stuck. No, okay. Well, can I can I steal anything from Charlie's table? Yes, I can. Okay, there was a grate we could unscrew somewhere. I don't remember where it was exactly, it was on the wall somewhere, but it had screws that Nancy talked about. I probably can't use it on this, can it's I? Stuck. No. Okay, well we stole a screwdriver. Nancy he just has no respect for other people's property. Hello. Oh! Key! I found a key! Okay. Okay. Attic time. I'm pretty sure this is the attic key. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh. I've gone on a few, like, ghost tours of supposedly haunted places before. Like, we went on vacation to St. Augustine when I was yet little. I probably shouldn't go up the creaky staircase. And, um... We went to the, uh, lighthouse, which is haunted, though we went during the day. And we also went to the haunted prison, and that was a very fun little ghost tour. It worked! Yes. Ooh, creepy. I like how there's just a scythe up here. Like, I know it's a farming tool, but... It also screams Grim Reaper. The Mysterious Storybook. Uh, I'm not going to read all this out loud. Interesting. I... I like the music up here. It's like a writing desk. It's locked. This isn't going to work, is it? It's locked. No. And probably not this either. It's locked. No. How about It's locked. Okay, I get it, Nancy. I have to try everything. Maybe one day Nancy will start carrying around lock picks. I feel like that would help her a lot. Oh, crowbar. Can we use that on the uh, fireplace grate? We'll have to head back down there as soon as we finish exploring up here. Um, oh, I can barely read that. We dined with the... something in a strange quarter of... something known as the Enchanted Dragon. Somebody showed me the lovely... Oh, I can't... I can barely read this. Elderly man selling something. Yeah, I can't. I hope that's not important because I can't read half of it. <laughs> it's cursive and it's kind of pixelated. But it's like a journal from so from somebody. And of course there's a creepy baby head, because what creepy attic wouldn't be complete without a creepy baby head? What do we need an iron for? I don't know if we need it yet. American flag. Newspapers. Hmm. 
Valuable hints. I would I would like some valuable hints. Ooh, there's another tile. We just need one more now. What will happen when we get all of them? Probably a secret passage. Okay, how do we leave? Through here? It broke. It's stuck. It's stuck. We're not gonna try and fix it? Okay. Um, back down to the basement. Oop, that's not... One day I'll learn how to walk. Let's see. What time is it, by the way? Oh, 11.15? Not bad. Okay, does this work? It does. It's so dark in here. I agree. We should leave. I don't like it here. I don't like I it. I can't see where I'm going. Too dark. Too dark. <laughs> I, I just died, didn't I? Hey, first... Death counter! Time to start the death counter! Yay! Okay, so I'm not going down there again without a light, because Nancy just fell into a well and died. I'm sorry, Nancy, that was completely my fault. I was trying to exit, but I didn't know where the exit was. So, we need a light. And we need to find where that grate is. Because I did see a grate on the wall. There it is. Um, no, Nancy, turn around. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let her sleep. Uh, how do I... I just want to look at this. No, I can't? Okay. Maybe, maybe it was a different grate. Hello. Do you need help getting out? I will help you. Oh. It's a speaker. Where does it go? Can I follow the cord? I am totally shocked by this unforeseen turn of events. <laughs> um... Well, what do I do now? Um... I guess we can go put that tile on the thingy downstairs. I'm taking the long way for some reason. That's- is anyone in here? Does Rose work late? No, she doesn't. Ooh, can I look at her stuff, though? Um... Okay, they might be raising her insurance premiums, or whatever they're called, if more accidents happen. And she has a Her Interactive mug. That's cool. Uh, dear Rose, um... Examining the old books. Oh, this is from Lewis. He's going to consult on renovations. And show them some roof tiles. Okay. Insurance. A uh, broken gas line in the kitchen. First water main in the bedroom. Scaffolding collapse. No injuries. Vandalism to outside shrubbery. And stolen roofing materials. Interesting. Okay, pay the bills, transfer money, order paint, measure windows, lost tiles on- Okay, we're working on that. Replace the lost tiles on the den fireplace. Kitchen cabinets, uh, polish the floors. Oil the door hinges, so some of the door hinges are creaky. Um, repair the hanging gutter, estimate to fix roof, call chimney cleaner. Repair the dumbwaiter, we're working on that. Fix the doorbell, additional phone lines, order bulbs for front yard. So, she's got a lot of stuff she's working on. Very busy lady. Oh, I can look over here too. Cool. Can I grab anything? Mm, 
No, I cannot. Disappointing. Oh well. Oh! Okay, that was really cool. That actually got me a little. <laughs> uh... I like all these little spooky effects going on. They're fun. Um... Yeah, I want to put the tile in the fireplace. That's not where I wanted to go. How do I- there's- this is where I go. Yeah, sorry. Hello, fireplace. How you doing? It won't fit. There we go. We're just missing one now. It's stuck. Crowbar. It's stuck. Screwdriver. It's stuck. Iron. It's stuck. Really? None of those things can unstick it? Okay, then. We'll find something later. Um... I guess I should, um... Wait until the morning and, like, like t tell Rose or Abby about the speaker I found. Because that's probably important. Yeah. <sighs> morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. I'm really upset I didn't get to investigate that person who was crying. I think it was Rose. But I thought it was Abby at first, which is why I checked her door. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. Oh well, you've got a lot of things to talk about. This is gonna take a while. I'm convinced that this house is haunted. I'm just not sure who is responsible. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long lost soulmates wandering aimlessly in the netherworld, returning to this house to search for each other. Ah. <sighs> I only hope that one day, I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. Yeah, Rose mentioned how he just kind of showed up right bef after they started thinking they needed a handyman. What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Did did he do anything to you, or did he just, like, startle you? Because that's not really a crime. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. I mean, the haunted buildings do attract a lot of tourists. I know from experience. <laughs> How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Okay, that gives me an idea that maybe... Abby might be faking the haunting to try and, like, drum up excitement for their, for their bed and breakfast, because... If there's like 20 bed and breakfast and one of them is haunted and you really like haunted stuff, you're of course going to go to that one. 
But that doesn't mean she's behind the accident, so it just means she's behind the hauntings. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. That sounds cool. Was there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Do you think it was Li Lizzie Applegate? Do you have any idea who this woman might be? No, I don't. Sorry. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Pox Bobiscum. Was that Latin? I think that means like peace something. But I don't know Latin, so I don't I can't say for sure. Hello, Rose. Hello. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. So Lewis was curious about the property. Is he curious about the house itself or possibly something hidden inside the house? Like, I don't know. There's usually like some sort of ancient valuable treasure hidden in old houses. What do you have to say, Charlie? Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. I guess. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose told me all about it. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? How do you fix a dumbwaiter? Have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Can you tell me more about the accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. Huh. Interesting. Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. Was he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. Oh, that's cool. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. What do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? Ah, uh, I can understand that. Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? I agree. What is that small closet in the hallway for? You mean the dumbwaiter? It's like a mini elevator. It's broken right now. The elevator is stuck between the two floors and the pulley ropes are cut. Okay, I had an idea about like tying the iron to the ropes and seeing if I can pull something down, so I think I'm gonna try that in a minute. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye. Let's see if that actually works. Oh, I can look down here. I was not even trying to. Ooh, papers. Uh, Swan... Swanee River. Okay. And hidden beneath a river of colors. Wait, hold on. I just realized, every single time Nancy, like, quotes a part of the poem on the wall, we're looking at something that has a Hanzi on it. Like, there was the one that had the Hanzi for moon, the one that had the Hanzi for four. This one has the Hanzi for river right here. So, does the poem 
there's going to be like a bunch of buttons with Hanzi on them probably, and I'm going to have to hit them in the order that the poem describes them, I guess. Is that what's happening? It's stuck. Everything is stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay. You know, the, the piano playing itself is one of the, like, least suspicious things, because whenever they have, like, old western saloons, there's always those, like, wind-up pianos that can play themselves. So that's completely normal. Um, dumbwaiter, hi. Does this work? It does! Cool. Okay, it's probably on the next floor up then how do i get back upstairs i keep getting turned around hi rose i'm sorry i didn't mean to come in here okay the stairs are right here yes good now where's the dumbwaiter here it is oh Okay, there's a broken teacup. The third panel thingy. I'm gonna go put it down there in a minute. Dragon pottery, and that is the Hanzi for eye. Dragon eye pottery. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand. Yep, there's definitely something going on with the Hanzi. I never thought learning when Japanese would actually be useful like this. In your hand. <laughs> uh, they're all fairly simple Hanzi too, which I appreciate. Okay, gonna go put the tile on the fireplace and see if that does anything. Like, unlocks a passage or anything. I heard a click. What clicked? Oh, did that do something with this? Yes! Oh, secret passage! Oh boy! Uh, just a second. Alright, I am sorry, friends, but I'm going to stop here for now. We'll explore the passage next time. Anyway, so, we got a lot done today. We met uh, Abby and Lewis. We had a seance, and a lot of spooky stuff's happening, which is very fun. I like it a lot. And, yeah, next time we'll go through that passage. Hopefully nothing bad happens. And maybe we'll figure out who's causing the hauntings and what's causing the accidents. So, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!